वेलकम टू फोफो स्टूडियो माई गेस्ट फॉर टूडे इज जिम बेनियाज फ्रॉम रेजिलियन टेक्स रेजिलियन टेक्स इज वन प्लेटफॉर्म दैट मैनेज इज साइबर एक्सपोजर मैनेजमेंट सप्लाई चेन रिस्क मैनेजमेंट वेब एप्लीकेशन सिक्योरिटी टेस्टिंग एंड नेटवर्क वेलरेबिलिटी मैनेजमेंट दैट्स क्वाइट अ लॉट पैक्ड इन वन प्लेटफॉर्म जिम वेलकम टू द शो फर्स्ट एक्जैक्टली फिर सब आई वॉन्ट टू से हाई टू ऑल ऑफ ऑफ users and everybody who is watching this webinar and uh, i want to also thank angad and mohan the great team of ofo ofo who have hosted us in this session uh, about resilient x so actually what's uh, what's the pain point you know for yeah. our current customers is most of our current customers need to go and buy multiple cybersecurity testing solutions so right. let's imagine that a uh, small security team in a mid-sized enterprise they need to go and test their network then their attack surface their cloud assets their web applications so they need to do all of these you know activities to ensure and to proactively kind of secure their assets that are exposed on the internet but what was the problem the problem was actually that all of these solutions were kind of you know meant for enterprise segment of the market and unfortunately yeah. it was very complex for those small teams to operate those solutions so what we have in yeah. imagined is is a modular cyber security testing platform so it's actually you know it's not only one but it's actually multiple modules that we provide to our customers and these modules enables our customers to perform specific cyber security testing for example as you mentioned cyber exposure management enables our customers to perform a full external attack surface management wow wow yeah that that's again like you know it's it's not uh, especially for small and medium businesses uh, they do not really have larger companies uh, catering to them right so they need one place or one platform where they can manage multiple things and in addition to that they need someone who can advise them on what extra is it that needs to be done as well right exactly so, exactly yeah so jim i mean uh, how, how did you uh, come about this idea why did you start resilient tech okay because let, let me let me go <laughs> a, a step back and like uh, tell me a little bit about yourself how did you uh, what was your first job my first job was actually i i worked as a help desk in a in a small country in in, in a small company in iran because i'm originally iranian so uh, mm-hmm. connecting you know printers to to networks was actually my first job i i was mm-hmm. uh, i wasn't even graduated you know i wasn't even going to to university yet but uh, uh-huh. when i started to go to university i started to work multiple jobs as a software engineer software developer and but mostly in in cybersecurity so i you know in the last i can say in the last 10 years i always worked in cybersecurity different kind of different sides so sometimes i've yeah. been on on red side sometimes i've been on blue side sometimes i've been in both but uh, yeah. it's mostly been you know cybersecurity and of course it's something that i'm very super passionate about and mm-hmm. i think it's one of the you know the biggest needs in 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 the current market for sure yeah yeah so uh, how how long back was it when you started resilient x so resilient is actually a, a very su- super new company because uh, mm-hmm. we are we are a su- very young but very you know fast growing company we have started actually last year but mm-hmm. uh, since then we've been uh, you know we've been working with lots of partners we've uh, we've worked with uh, lots of customers and we have especially for example developed our platform and put it available for our you know specifically for european market and then also we are going to expand in the new market as well as india as well as you know asia as well. so th- this is actually awesome. our what we are doing in resilient tech awesome awesome so i mean uh, when you had started out i doubt you would have started with all of these modules right you would have started with one exactly isn't that right exactly Which one was it? so it, it is actually cyber exposure management because uh, cyber exposure management is uh, from my perspective it's uh, it's one of the first needs of a company because each company you know have a couple of assets at least exposed on the internet right. what i mean as asset is you know ip addresses might be websites mm-hmm. might be you know cloud servers they have exposed yeah. on the internet 
And what's exposed on the internet is the first touch point of an attacker. So an attacker yeah. can actually, you know, target those exposed I I assets and IPs to right. enter right. and gain more information. And that will, that's something that end up as a data breach or as an, you know, as a yeah. ransomware attack. So, you know, this is the first line of defense, what you have yeah. exposed on the internet. So how, how does Resilient X manage that for uh, uh, its customers? Yeah, we, we, uh, it's actually super, super easy. So uh, our, on our platform, um, you know, our customers can come and add, you know, their, their, their assets, what we mm -hmm. call them as global assets. So for example, their domain addresses, their main IP addresses, and mm -hmm. then we will start to do a crawl on all of the public IP addresses to find anything related to that customer. So what we okay. actually do is to understand, you know, if from, for example, from a domain address, in, in mm -hmm. some cases, if, if I want to make an example for you, for example, we have a bank as a, mm -hmm. uh, a, as a customer who is monitoring, you know, a couple of hundreds of IP domain addresses. And those domain addresses, each one have millions of IP addresses connected to them. So right, it's right. actually what we, you know, provide to our end customer is the, you know, ease of use and of course the simplicity to monitor all of those internet facing assets. Oh, okay, okay. So let, let's move on to attack surface management now. Yeah. So can you just explain what it is, what it is and uh, what you do in that space? Yeah, actually attack surface management, it is, um, it, you know, it is, um, non, you know, typically traditionally it, it's been, it has been a kind of tool. It has been a kind okay. of product. But uh, right. I can call, you know, attack surface management a kind of, you know, a kind of methodology to pro protect mm -hmm. the, di the digital assets. Because traditionally, most of the solutions that we've seen, for example, they have identified different IP addresses, okay? And they will stop there. So what we call it as discovery. They have di they mm -hmm. did discovery on lots of internet-facing assets, but they've stopped there. Uh -huh. Our platform enables that our customers perform, you know, further tests. So more active tests. So instead of, you know, finding, they can go and identify, they can go and investigate on any kind of, you know, technological pro problems that it, it might have something like vulnerabilities, maybe open ports, yeah. you know, unauthorized yeah. kind of, even in near future credential theft related, you know, to those internet assets. So yeah. this is yeah. actually what we provide plus for, for our customers. Okay, okay. So Jim, I mean, uh, uh, currently uh, supply chain attacks are on the rise, right? You, you, you hear one or the other attack happening every hour or so. We, we get notified every time. So what do you do uh, to manage risks that are associated with supply chain? Exactly. That, that that's a great question. It's actually um, because we have built you know our platform for first of all, as I as I told you first, with cyber exposure management. But mm -hmm. uh, working with different customers, they have actually asked us that if they we can, for example, protect their you know their their vendors or understand the risk of their suppliers, their business yeah. partners. So I actually cyber we have we have kind of uh, made cyber exposure in a way that companies mm -hmm. and a couple of our customers actually are mm -hmm. monitoring third party companies with cyber exposure. So what, what happens here is we can understand if, for example, the main company, or let's say, for example, it's a defense company or it's a manufacturer, automotive manufacturing company, and they're yeah. working with hundreds or thousands of, you know, vendors or thousands of, you know, because they have a company who is providing financial service a company who is yeah. providing, you know, legal services. And if yeah. each one of those companies gets, you know, kind of data breach or have some kind of yeah. vulnerability on their systems, it can cause a data breach to the mother company as well. So actually that's yeah. Yeah. what we provide, you know, to our large and, you know, large customers because they want to also be safe in supply chain attacks as well. Just to give you an idea, for example, uh, one of the biggest uh, cyber attacks that has happened in Singapore, it was a Singapore airline, which has, they mm -hmm. have been compromised 
because one of their vendors got you know hacked so oh. that was that was actually the problem so if the vendor you know had protected himself if the vendor company you know put some cyber defense cyber security you know uh, strategies in place it, it it shouldn't have happened but unfortunately yeah. that happened and it ended up to a data breach of singapore airlines so that's very important yeah interesting so uh, let, let's move to uh, vulnerability assessment now, Jim. So uh, can you can you explain what the process of uh, managing vulnerabilities uh, for your customers is like for you? Yeah, of course, of course. Uh, you know, I, I, as I told you, we have built our platform in a modular way. So our customers right. have, you know, the ability to to choose what kind of tests they want to do on their digital assets. So uh, right. as we have started with cyber exposure, which do discovery, which do passive mm -hmm. tests and passive yeah. vulnerability scanning on all those digital assets, we do mm -hmm. provide two other modules as well, which are web application security testing, or typically they, if they call it DAST, which we will yeah. evaluate you know, the top 10 OWASP vulnerabilities in web applications. On the other mm -hmm. side, we have network security scanner, which we will evaluate the network services, open ports, and you know any, any exposed services that we can you know ping it from outside. If you, I don't want to take, be so super right. technical, but we can actually you know uh, understand the vulnerabilities of also network system as well. Awesome, but that's just the identification part, right? How do you go about rectifying that? Okay, uh, about the remediation, you know, for example, we, we provide some kind of action plan and of course mm -hmm. some solutions um, for each of the vulnerabilities that we find. In okay. a very near future, we are also providing, we are going to provide, this is actually a very new announcement that I'm going to do here, probably here, and, uh, okay. and a kind of a complete issue management on, uh, okay. directly on our platform. So actually, you know, users can come and, you know, track each of their vulnerabilities, they can mm -hmm. actually track also the process of fixing that vulnerability. Because let, wow. let me make you make you an example, because in big companies, most of these vulnerabilities, you know, are not maybe from in, inside of the company, because they had actually, okay. as I told you, they had a lot of, you know, hundreds of vendors or business partners yeah. who one is maybe providing the website, one, one of them yeah. who is providing, you know, the, the cloud infrastructure and they can yeah. actually manage the process of fixing those vulnerabilities. Okay, okay. So are there any differentiators that Resilient X has when it comes to vulnerability management as compared to uh, traditional methods or like, you know, traditional pen test providers? Yes, of course, of course. Uh, for example, one, one of the main major differences that we provide in respect to other uh, other competitors is that we provide, you know, a full suite of cybersecurity testing. So as I told you before, okay. for example, if a company needs to do network security testing, instead of mm -hmm. buying one separate solution, they can actually mm -hmm. instead use ResilientX to do full cybersecurity, you know, cybersecurity testing, vulnerability management and vulnerability testing. So this is actually one of the pluses that they can they can do. On the okay. other side, you know, our, also our, for example, our platform has been built, you know, very MSP friendly. So MSP, mm -hmm. MSSP friendly. We we right. can provide up to two la two layers of multi tenancy. So, for nice. example, that's uh, that's very you know required for our partners because we work yeah. also yeah. with a lot of partners. You know, a, a lot of cybersecurity providers, and recently, especially in Italy, they've started to use yeah. our solution to provide cybersecurity services. So that's you know that's wow. a very great thing for us. That's amazing. What, what do the reports look like, Jim? We, we do actually provide, you know, different kind of different tools for reporting. So we do also provide PDF reports, something like executive, the full technical. Mm -hmm. And of course, nice. each section of our platform, you can actually do an, a CSV export, a JSON export. We also provide mm -hmm. APIs. So, you know, it's, uh, it's it really depends on the customer how, how they want to, you know, treat you know these uh, these information so if they want to for example connect it to somewhere internally they can actually use a our apis if they want you know mm -hmm. just a, for x you know traditional excel sheet they can also download it on our from our platform nice nice jim would it be possible for you to uh give us a 
small demo of the platform. Like, For sure. Know, just tell us about the setup process and like, you know, give us an overview. That's it. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Let, let me share my screen with you. Okay. So as I told you, we have built our platform in two, with two level of multi-tenancy. So what we actually have here is different kind of workspaces. And mm -hmm. in each workspaces, we have different projects, set of projects. So we can actually, you know, those service providers, they can divide their customers or enterprise mm -hmm. segment. They can, you know, divide the branches. And each project actually provides a separate tenant to our customers. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going okay. to also show you here is cyber exposure dashboard, which mm -hmm. cyber exposure, as I told you, it's doing all the attack surface management act activities related to mm -hmm. companies. In this specific project, we are monitoring around, I don't know, 300, 400 companies. And mm -hmm. as you see, the, we have identified, you know, more than 27,000 IP addresses, around 77,000 subdomains, and a lot of wow. vulnerabilities related to them. And of course, you can go and investigate more, you know, in each of these aspects. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave the demo, especially for the users. Maybe we can go into the more technical demo directly with the, with the in, you know, with, the, with users. With, absolutely. So how do they reach out to you? Like if, if they want a demo, it, it, can they get a demo from you at any time? For sure, for sure. We, we actually we, we work uh, with lots of partners. For example, mm -hmm. in this case, I also work with uh, OFO OFO. We work with multiple, you know, we have different partners in, uh, in, each, con uh, in each country. And also mm -hmm. they can reach us on our website. You know, if you reach us on our website, we will organize in less than 48 hours a demo, a call with you and uh, show you and understand if, you know, this product is actually, you know, is, is suitable for you because mm, in some cases, maybe the, the use case that the user is searching, maybe it's not really the resilient is they need one specific solution, but in many yeah. cases they need, you know, a, an all in one cybersecurity tool, you know, to, to satisfy yeah. all those needs. So especially smaller companies, especially right. small companies, yeah. exactly. Right. So is there anything else that is there on the future roadmap, Jim? Is there yes. anything else that we can be excited about? Exactly. In uh, next year, so in a couple of months, we are going to release uh, our, our solution, which is called vendor risk management. It is actually oh, wow. for more, you know, mid-sized enterprises. So mm -hmm. com maybe companies that uh, are managing more than, you know, 50 or 100 suppliers. Okay. But it gives mm -hmm. them the possibility to monitor and track, you know, hundreds of companies at the same time. So if they are working directly with those vendors, they can monitor mm -hmm. them. They can share different questionnaires with them in an automated mm -hmm. way. And they can yeah. understand also from those questionnaires how much, you know, what is the impact of that specific vendor of, uh, on, on the company. So that's, you know, Amazing. the new solution that we are going to provide. Of course, the question can be also used, you know, in smaller companies for themselves as well. So they can, you know, because we are going to provide ISO 27001, different kind of, you know, different kind of set of questionnaires. So they can actually fill it and understand their risk as well. Perfect. Perfect. So let's wrap this up, Jim. Yep. Thank you very yeah. much. I want uh, may maybe the last word I wanted to also, you know, thank you, yeah. with, uh, thank you guys again, and uh, <laughs> it it's been a pleasure. You know, we've recently started to work together, but uh, I, I, you know, I, I've noticed that in cybersecurity market there are, you know, a few actually companies that actually care about maybe small and medium sized enterprises, and it actually makes yeah. me happy to talk with you guys. And uh, right, let's right. keep, you know, let's help to uh, help SMBs to become secured more. Absolutely, Jim. Absolutely. So Resilient X is available on Ofofo. They're one of our featured sellers. And this month you can find them on our homepage. Thank you. Thank you.